Hello and welcome back to another Zorondin cast. I am Zorondin and this is StarCraft Saturday. Today's matchup is another game sent in by the fans and it's going to be on the map Shakuras Plateau. Now, I haven't done too many games on Shakuras Plateau so I'm definitely a little excited to cover this map. It is a fairly fun map and let's check out today's combatants. In the bottom left corner as the red Protoss, we are going to have Trala Young or Trala Jung. I'm going to call him Trala because, yeah, yikes. Anyways, in the top right corner, we will have the blue Terran Vocaloid. That name, a lot easier to say than Trala Young. Anyways. Uh, just to give you some updates on the channel as this game gets going. I am currently filming a special thing. Uh, it, it is a World of Warcraft Machinima video that I want to release for my hundredth episode. Now that's current or hundredth video. That's currently the plan. Does you know plans change? But at the time. I don't see any problems with that. I am about halfway done filming it and recording audio. So hopefully that will be done for my 100th episode. I'm really excited to get that going. Uh, that is going to be a constant feature on my channel is I want to do some WoW Machinima as well as uh, short films. Um, and I'm also writing something that I hope to get out early August. Uh, I originally planned for July, but that did not happen. Anyways. Let's get back to StarCraft 2 here and check out what each player has in, in production. And I'm going to bring up that production tab for you. Uh, I meant to bring that up earlier, but I think we're fine on that front. Anyways, we have a gateway down for Trala, as well as just a pylon and, and one gas, so no four gate coming out for him. As well as ob, OBS, not OBS, Orbital Command Center uh, going down for Vocaloid. Now he did throw a barracks in this left corner here and I've seen a few players do this they like to try and hide that barracks I'm not quite sure why because obviously it just got discovered by that probe and that probe isn't gonna probably well he's gonna get away but uh, a lot of players do actually just forget to scout that corner now that can fake a player out make you think you're cheesing them uh, I'm not sure personally I do prefer the wall off but, you know, player's choice. And he opted there to go for that decision. Anyways, we do now have both gas down for Trala. So we'll need to watch that, see what he intends there. And of course he is getting his warp gate around the proper time. And if I had not said this is a Masters League game. Um, I know I actually did not say that. Anyways, he has gone ahead and moved his barracks down to the bottom here as well as he's grabbing a reactor. Now that's an interesting move. I haven't really seen this move out of many players. Um, I'm not sure what he's thinking here. It's not really a proxy. Perhaps he's just looking for some nice defense on a quick third, but why would you grab a third when you can just grab your natural over here? And unfortunately, that supply depot was lowered and that probe got in, uh, but the Marine quickly mopped it up, so it really wasn't an issue. And let's check in on Trala. Uh, so he definitely didn't get a 5 gate or 4 gate as I was saying. Um, he's popping down a robotics facility so we're gonna see some immortals or colossi or possibly a quick observer. Um, that's not completely necessary but you know never hurts to have vision of your enemy and that is what he was planning. Uh, some Hellion harass out of Vocaloid uh, plopping that reactor down, just saving a little bit of time. Ooh, sorry about that. Went out for a second to cough. Anyways, he's just saving a little bit of time without those Hellions having to go the down the ramp. Now, those Hellions do slip in, but I don't know how much damage they're really going to get done. And Probe's off the line, retreating, getting the heck out of there. So he is getting a little bit of effective time here. But I don't think he's going to be able to pop off very many. He's going to have to fool Trala to get that off. Oh, very nice force field. Blocking off the Hellions. And all oh, one goes down. A little late on that. But uh, one went down. One just kind of stranded in there. Not sure what to do. 
He's going to somewhat get pinned. A couple probes do go down from the Hellion. Oh, and Hellion... Oh, and he finally goes down to the probe. So, some nice defensive play by Trala, but Vogeloid did a pretty decent job with those two Hellions and getting damage done for what Trala had to defend with. And here come two more Hellions, so Vogeloid is not stopping this aggression. Here they come. Again, skipping around those guys. Vocaloid war or Trala warping in more Stalkers. Force field blocking off the kind of exit for the Hellions, but they are still getting in there and doing damage, and they go down pretty quick. But yet again, here come two more. While well, they're going to stand at the Zelnaga Watchtower for the sec for a second, uh, but in the meantime, v Vocaloid is plopping down another factory, a starport, and an expansion. So he is continuing to tech while doing that Hellion harass, and that is what some of the best players will do: is continue to tech and take advantage of your opponent having to be defensive. When you're on offensive, you need to expand, you need to advance in tech, and that'll keep you in the game and keep you advancing instead of being an all-in, even if you don't mean it to be an all-in. So here comes a little bit of Trala's units, and uh, Vocaloid runs off. Uh, I'm not sure if he got spotted there. I think he might have, uh, but Trala's not going to worry too much about four uh, Hellions on the field with these Stalkers and Sentries. Now, this is a fairly light force, and oh, here comes a Warp Prism, so he's going to be able to warp in more units. Um, he does only have three gates at this time. Is that a fourth one coming in? That is a fourth one coming in. So he's up to three at the moment. He's going to have four very soon, well with this Warp Prism. So this could be a threat, a credible threat to Vocaloid, especially as he only has currently eight Marines and four Hellions. And that command or that factory is going to run into the base. Get definitely going to get that out of there. And those zealots are going to town, and he's going to do a little bit of up and down movement with his troops here. Um, that's going to give a short-term advantage. SCVs off the line, going to work here on these zealots. That is bad news for those SCVs. But with the marines backing them up, they actually mop up those uh, zealots, not SCVs. And that stalker is bad news. He does not want to be there few of them taking advantage of the high ground vision, but that high ground stalker goes down. And now those low ground stalkers are at risk. These marines are taking advantage of that. And those uh, stalkers by Trala are trying to get the heck out of there. And a lot of aggression by these two players. We're only 10 minutes into the game, but neither player has an expansion yet. We do, of course, have a second orbital for Vocaloid, though, and that is helping him considerably with those mules. And this bunker is coming in handy for Vocaloid doing considerable damage to those stalkers and they run away they don't want to deal with that they are not equipped to take that down oh and we have a hellion drop coming in here just barely started but those probes are getting sauce look at them pop and all oh, the hellions do go down one left oh and one pop just popped a few more probes the last coup de gras for that hellion and oof trala is now operating on six probes that's disgusting he is in a bad position here. He needs to make some damage with what he's got on the field or this game is going to be over for him. And just as we do that, Vocaloid is taking advantage of his situation that he knows he has. Hell, he has Vikings on the field now as well as tanks. Uh, no siege mode yet, but here comes the attack by Trala. And where are the rest of his stalkers? He went in with only three of them. A terrible mistake, honestly. Those bunkers aren't quite done yet. Here comes the action. Uh, Vocaloid doesn't have stim yet either, so we're just looking at kind of a raw army here. Does he have any upgrades? No, both players are sitting at 0, zero. I guess Protoss is 0, zero, zero but you know, whatever. Oh, we do have Siege Mode up, no, though, by Vocaloid. And that defensive line is pretty solid at this point. He needs to get some Marines in those bunkers, but pretty much solid at this point. And, I mean, Trala is not even building probes. What is going on here? Horrible mistake by Trala. I don't know what he's thinking. He is pretty much committing game suicide here. And here comes Vocaloid's units trying to defend that bunker. I don't or barrack. I don't see it staying up. But the rest of the troops are engaging. SCVs are doing a repair. Holy crap! He's gonna save it. Siege mode now engaged, and those things are getting liquefied. Oh, and that war prism goes down. The zealots over here doing a little bit of damage, but the stalker line has been melted by the tanks. And that is GG for Trala. I want to give a big congrats to Vocaloid. Very nice play.
doing that Hellion Harass, that is what won him the game. And look at this, six probes. That is just disgusting. You can't win with six probes versus, well, how many does, 28 and two mules, yeah. Um, so congrats to Vocaloid. He is the player that sent in the game. I want to thank him for sending that in. Give him a Google. congrats. And if any of you are interested, you can send games on in to Zerondin at gmail.com. I will try and cast those for you. And, well, that's going to do it for StarCraft Saturday, guys. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you guys next time.